it is 12 o'clock. We should oh. do our thing. And we've got a oh. quorum. Uh, Connor texted me to say that he would be a little bit late. Um, all right. So I'm going to call this meeting to order. Um, I think one of the things that we need to do it is uh, not on the agenda, actually. But since we're all remote, we need to introduce ourselves. Um, so uh, Ann Watson, Mayor, joining us remotely here. Ugh. Um, uh, Donna, you want to go next? Uh, sure. sure. Uh, Donna Bate for District 1. Jack? Uh, Jack McCullough for District 2. Jennifer? Morton, District 3. And Lauren? Lauren Hurl, District 1. Okay, and I don't think we have anybody... Um, any other counselors on? So, um, all right. Um, I think our agenda is probably fine. Anyone want to change the agenda? Yes, Donna. Um, I'd like to add a discussion about the Public Safety Authority assisting with the grant application for communication equipment. Okay, and that's not in conjunction with the consent agenda? Uh, no, it's separate from the console. This is okay. the grant for the $3.2 million for towers and infrastructure. We can do that after. Um, yes, that'd be fine. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So um, with that, any other information about changing the agenda? I know. I know. You want to change the agenda too. All right. Um, so, sorry. Uh, with that will consider the uh, agenda approved. <laughs> let's, do, let's do this here. Um, uh, general business and appearances. Any comments folks would like to make um, <laughs> uh, to just to, to the group? Okay, not seeing anyone. Um, so we'll move on then to the consent agenda. Is there a motion uh, regarding the consent agenda? Jack, go ahead. I, I moved the consent agenda, but I think it would be helpful to have a bit of an explanation about uh, item A, the uh, base radio approval, but I'm not suggesting we take it out of the consent agenda. Yeah, that's, that seems um, fair. Is there a second? Uh, I'll second. Okay, motion and a second. Um, uh, Chief, you want to uh, address the... Uh, item A there, the replacement of the base uh, radio. Good afternoon, Madam Mayor, members of the council, members of the public, Assistant City Manager uh, Niedermeyer. I'm Brian Pete, the Chief of Police with the Montpelier Police Department. Uh, in, in regards to the radio base station, this is the uh, the base station, I believe back in 2000, and uh, shortly after I got here, I believe it's 2020, um, I had given a presentation to the council regarding the, the base station that we did have. It's um, we we this particular base station is over 20 years old. Um, the one we had had went out on us, so we borrowed one from the Milton Police Department. Uh, it's the, still the same age as the the one that that, that previously went out. And uh, so what we uh, we need this, this this radio base station to for channels on channel two, which is the Washington County Sheriff's Office as well as the uh, Vermont State Police. Uh, so. Uh, at this particular point in time, we um, um, we're looking for to to use the funding that has been authorized for the um, uh, the dispatch consoles. So initially, what we thought the when we were initially looking at Motorola consoles, um, those costs came up to close to four hundred and sixty thousand, somewhere in that area, if I remember correctly. Um, and going through the RFP pro or going through our research process and everything to that effect, we're actually going to go with the Avtech consoles, which are significantly less expensive. So when we first uh, let council know how much money it was to have money allocated, set aside for the dispatch consoles, which was authorized and approved, um, we were basing a longevity uh, purchase agreement of four years. So we were looking at, um, and this is if I recall correctly, we were looking at it roughly about one hundred twenty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars for four years to pay for the dispatch consoles. Um, with the consoles being significantly less, there's an opportunity for us to use some of those that funding 
to pay for the radio base station. So once we purchase the um, uh, the Aftec consoles, the only amount that will be due for this year will be a little over twenty nine thousand dollars. Next year it will be roughly uh, ninety six or ninety eight thousand dollars. Then ninety six, ninety eight thousand dollars. Then one more year, ninety six, ninety eight thousand dollars, and then the consoles will be paid off. So we just thought this was so since there's already one hundred thirty five thousand dollars that's we did not use for last year that's slated for the consoles. We're looking for the opportunity to use some of that funding to purchase the base station um, going forward on that one. So so actually, in in the other part about that is I am working with um, with Kelly. Uh, so this is more of a uh, a backup to the issue. I'm trying not to to purchase the system yet because we still have the ability to um, see if we can fold this base station into the grant for the communications infrastructure that we're applying for right now through the state. So I don't want to, even if the council gives me the authority or the permission to purchase the base station, I kind of want to hold off on doing that to see if I can fold that into the, the full grant amount. And if we are successful in winning that grant, and if I can fold that into the grant amount, I should be able to purchase that by the end of the year. So I'm hoping that the systems can hold on by then. Super, thank you so much. Um, that's really helpful. Um, any other questions um, folks have about that? Uh, yeah, go ahead, Jack. Sorry, I have a question about the uh, <clears throat> the uh, FW web bid too when, we, when we're done with this. I apologize for that. Oh, item C? Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, great. Any other questions about item A though? Okay, great. Well, go ahead with your question about item C. Okay, thanks. Um, this, there's probably an easy uh, answer for this, but uh, going through, the, uh, the bid from uh, FW Web, I noticed that some of the uh, items are being quoted for, uh, for ductile iron. And it seems like, wasn't that the kind of uh, pipe under Elm Street that we had a, a problem with because it uh, had a bad interaction with the, with the soil? And are we in danger of the same problem here? Uh, yeah, I can answer that. Uh, Kurt Modica, Deputy Director of Public Works. Um, so this particular water project has a, a river crossing associated with it. And um, that river crossing, the piping will be set directly on ledge. So uh, in order to have a well-protected pipe through the river crossing, um, really ductile iron is really the only suitable material for that. Um, you're right, we have had a lot of issues with corrosion with ductile iron pipe, but in this case, um, it really makes sense to use that material. Um, so it'll just be used directly for that crossing. Great, thanks. Super, um, any other questions about that? Okay, uh, all right. Uh, so there's been a, a motion and second. Um, Oh, uh, Connor, you want to introduce yourself? We just all did like the, you know, virtual introductions. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm Connor from uh, District 2. Good to see you. <laughs> Great. Uh, all right. So um, there's been a motion and a second on the consent agenda. Um, any further discussion? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And opposed. Okay, so it is unanimous. So we um, pass this. We don't need to do um, individual uh, voting. Um, Donna, I'm going to turn it over to you for okay. discussion of CBPSA. Thank you. Uh, what's happened, as you all are, are used to, when you get a grant announcement, you all jump on it. And the Public Safety Department of Vermont has announced the grants that would allow us to apply for that $3.2 million that we had very focused on the legislative session. 
I hope you sort of remember that. It's about towers and radios and such. It's infrastructure money. Uh, and this opportunity has come up and the Capital Region Group, which is basically Montpelier and Barry staff, I got a call from Barry, uh, Joe's Allsworth has been following this very intensely, that indeed the department has announced this grant, it's going to be due September 2nd, it's quite detailed and he feels like they need, uh, they're asking the Public Safety Authority to authorize $3,000 to pay Televate to do the application. Now, they would work with both Montpelier, Bill particularly, and Brian, as well as Doug and Joe and Barry to make sure that the application has what it wants, but also getting just all the information that it's asking for. Now, so we called a special meeting tonight. And unfortunately, your representative, Justin, um, is not in the country. He's vacationing in Canada. And he's gonna, he's not sure he can connect. And we don't want Montpelier not to be represented. So I was hoping maybe to have a letter or an endorsement, uh, even just an email from the mayor. We've already got one from Bill that says, yes, we support this. We would appreciate it because no one has the staff to apply the time this application needs. Um, so that's what I'm seeking is that a nod, some way of saying, yes, we should move forward and, and assist Montpelier and Barry with this capital grant so that we can get this infrastructure updated. If there are any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, yes. Uh, and you, you already have a, a letter from Bill. Oh, an email, yeah. We're already working with them. We support this. Very short, but okay, okay. it was in the affirmative. Okay. And uh, there's a like a. Um, I assume since you called the special meeting, there's a there's basically like a time crunch on this, or some kind of time time limitation on it. Yes, even though we fortunately have a lot of information already gathered from our previous study, there's a lot more that has to be done. And Televate really feels it's going to be a crunch if they start now. Um, and so we didn't want to wait till our regular board meeting next week. We wanted to say yes and move forward. So that's our intention tonight is to approve a contract with them, an extension of the previous one for $3,000 to do this work. Uh, Jack, go ahead. Thanks. Donna, uh, how should we think about the uh, email from Kim Cheney about this? Well, um, I sent that to you and Ann and Bill. I didn't send it to the whole council um, because it's a one-sided opinion. Uh, uh, Kim Cheney doesn't feel Televate's qualified. And he quotes me and Bill Frazier as wanting to dissolve the Public Safety Authority. Um, I, I, I mean, other points in his letter that you wanna make comments about, please do. Uh, I mean, Kim is a, an at-large, board member at the Public Safety Authority, so he's acting on his own. Um, and I guess what I'm looking for is where is, is there interest from the Montpelier City Council to have the Public Safety Authority spend its money on a consultant to help Barry Montpelier gain this capital money? I just don't know why we wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> this is why we did the study, was to get capital money, <laughs> to get this infrastructure in place. So I I don't know where Kim's coming from. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, any other thoughts or questions about this? Um, so what might be useful to you, Donna, would be like a, a motion from the council sort of in support of moving forward uh, with this grant, is that is that well, I mean, Montpelier it is a member of the Public Safety Authority. So yeah. as a member of it <clears throat> and, and, a, and a city who would benefit from it, this particular grant, I would uh, I mean, I would hope the council would support a motion to uh, support advancing this grant application with the assistance of Televate to move forward with the city staff. So so moved. All right, we got a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, motion and a second. Um, John, was that clear enough? Yeah. Okay. Oh, John, John Odom, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, also, just want to check in with the 
the chief uh chief pete any any thoughts on this any comments you'd like to make if not that's fine um i can uh thank you again man for the opportunity i i uh wholeheartedly agree with um um council member bait um i i think that uh Televate is is more than qualified to uh to do this for us and they are deeply uh, embedded in knowing what it is that we need what to do uh and and i think this is going to give us the best opportunity and the best chance to uh to get this funding I mean, it's a very competitive grant. It's statewide for regional dispatch centers and their infrastructure needs. So, yeah. And, and, and if, if I may, uh, um, I'm also part of another uh, committee to um, the, the legislation um, uh, pretty much made the rule that they want a report coming back regarding what the next step should be as far as communication infrastructure, how the state will move forward in looking at the, the, the allocation of these funds and how to make sure that we don't find ourselves in this situation again um, regarding uh, not having enough regionalized dispatch locations. So I'm part of that working group to develop that policy and those recommendations to the state. A lot of the things that we're saying, in fact, all of the things we're saying, Televate has already touched on for us throughout this entire process. So we are way ahead of the curve. And with Televate writing this, it will probably end up being the model in my humble opinion as to uh, what other organizations or counties will need to do. Wow. That is exciting. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. That's that's very helpful. Um, uh, all right. Any further discussion on this? Okay. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. And opposed. Okay. Uh, so it uh, unanimously passes. So uh, again, no need to do individual votes. Um, and I think that is it. So um, thank you, everybody. Uh, without objection. Oh, I, yes. I, 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 I've noticed we don't have council support. I'm sorry to add time on this. Okay. But I just wanted to tell everybody at once, uh, some of you already know, that I've submitted the paperwork to run for the Montpelier representative for the Vermont House as an independent. So Connor is way ahead of me. I'd love to serve with you. Um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, I had my 75th birthday last week. And I decided if I didn't do it now, when would I do it? So <laughs> I'm out there to compete. Thank you. I only need to be second place, Connor. You can have first. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you. That's very exciting. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, best of luck to you. And we will um, uh, be uh, any, any other comments? Oh, yes, Jennifer. You know, I, I think I'm probably still on the ceremony brain, but I showed up uh, to City Hall last night again. Oh. <laughs> we had council and I had gifts for everybody. Um, so Chief Pete, if any of your staff were like wondering who the weird lady was wandering around City Hall last night, it was me. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm a week early, sorry. So but you good. look very blissful. <laughs> All right. So to to make sure that doesn't happen again, your next scheduled council meeting is on the twenty fourth of August. Of August. Thank you, because I would have showed up next week. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So it's Three not exactly. We we have two two more weeks um, before council. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. And uh, so, without objection, we will adjourn. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks. So long, folks. Thanks. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.